In this presentation we are going to look at how to conduct a correlation analysis in with Minitab. So we have a data set here and it's called fish.mtw and there is a two numeric variables here and price at 1970 and price in at 1980. What we have here are 14 observations, uh, pairs of observations, each for uh, one type of fish. So what we're going to do is try and find out the Pearson correlation coefficient. So what we do is we go up here to the menu and we're going to click on the fifth option there and we're going to cl cl uh, click on stat okay now we can look here at basic statistics and have a quick look through that what we're particularly interested in is the correlation value and we can sort of see that that is the first item the fourth group just down here so I'm going to click on correlation and click on that now there's two variables we want to find out we have two variables here price 1970 price 1980 we're going to select those two variables there and so on. So we have these two variables selected. We could, if there was more, we could probably uh, have a look at more. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to display the p-value. This is an important thing. We'd like to make sure that there is a uh, a test of significance for the uh, correlation estimate, and um, so we can uh, provide some additional assistance in interpreting the outcome. So we're going to click OK on that, and what we're going to get now is the uh, up here in the output we are going to have a look at the correlation. So let's just scroll down to it there. So uh, previously I done the scatter plot, so that's not important. At the end of your session, you should have something like this. Correlations, price 1970, price 1980. I mean, here we can see that the Pearson correlation coefficient for the two uh, numeric variables is not 0.967, just right here. Uh, if you cannot see that, it's probably might be best to sort of uh, use full screen when you're looking at this actually so um yeah and also we have the Pearson correlation uh, the p-value for that estimate not 0 0.000 and actually what we have here is a really tiny Pearson correlation coefficient uh, the p-value for the Pearson correlation correlation coefficient so it's only is presented to three decimal places the first three so essentially we interpret that it's 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 really 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 small Okay, that ends the presentation on Pearson correlation coefficient with Minitab.